is a public service announcement. Please stand by. What is up? Whoa, viewfinder. Fuck. Do that all the time. So we're at the mall. Saturday night. No, it's night. I like night vlogging. No, actually, I had a migraine yesterday and most of today. But it's gone now, thank God. So we're at the mall doing stuff. So yeah. Just didn't want to sit in the house all day and I wanted to do something. So decided to come to the mall until it closes. And then we'll figure out something else to do because we always do, right? Right. So, yeah. And we got a Diet Coke because. Why not? We need that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Used to be nine. Closes in 15 minutes. Well, we got 15 minutes. All right. Speed chopper. <laughs> <laughs> This is all new in the last, what, five years? It's five years, is that right? This mall has been here since I was uh, a we little girl. Born. Yeah, before I was born. We used to have an ice skating ring in it. Yeah, we, yeah. Had a, we had an ice skating ring. And an arcade. And an arcade. And a food court. I mean, we still have a food, food court. court. But, food court but the food ice skating court. ring was like a big deal for oh, a long right. time. Now we have uh, AccuSure. Yeah, I remember <laughs> if you brought your movie ticket to the arcade, you got a dollar free in tokens. That's right. That was cool. <sighs> yeah, it is kind of dead here. That's cool. Which way? I don't know. Hmm. Let's go that way. Okay. Yeah. Oh. It, this is fun. Maybe we'll come to this. This is the Yum Food Fest, and they have a bunch of food trucks. It's like $5 to go. It's really good. One time we went and we got lobster, uh, lobster fries. Yes. Lobster, lobster fries. fries. They, they were good. so good. Now this one's going to be out in the parking lot on the other side mm. of the parking structure. It's not going to be in the parking structure anymore. Oh, it isn't? I don't think so. That's a good place to have it. Huh. Yeah, we'll all have to go. Alrighty. Good time. Cool. Oh, shit. Too bad there's people standing there. We go look at the creepy sign. Oh, yeah. There's this weird, like, electronic sign. Let me flip with the view camera. Blech. Can you tell I'm not good at this, but there's this creepy electronic sign they've had for years. I can't show you because there's people standing in front of it, but it's like, it's, it's like, like a, Daniel's Jewelers. it's at Daniel's Jewelers and it's electronic, like, product projection, but it's in the shape of a person and it looks like a, it's supposed to look like a person is standing there talking, but it's flat image it's stupid it's really dumb i don't know what the fuck they're thinking yeah you can tell everything's getting ready to go <laughs> and we're the idiots like oh it's open till nine nope we should know better our valley isn't cool enough to be open till nine nope not at not all even on saturday night mm -mm. no not at all I'm looking into getting me a big ass selfie stick like Foodie Beauty. Don't do that. No. Don't do that. There's a rumor that Foodie Beauty is stuck in Thailand. She definitely is. Don't get it. Oops. Oh. Speaking of other people, we got something to talk about later. I got some hot takes to talk about later. Remind me about that, Patrick. Will do. Okay. A small rat's got kicked out of the mall. <laughs> so we're at the park. Surprise, surprise, me at the park. But I kinda like it, it's really nice out. It's in the 70s, it's cool. You could wear a jacket, but we're not because it's been over 100 degrees all summer. It's been like- It is not cold enough to wear a jacket. She's no, wrong. it's not really. Don't listen to her, she's wrong. There are some people who do though. You're right, but they're wrong. <laughs> hmm. Where do we wanna go? The light. The light. Do you want to sit on your swings? Uh, I kind of want to go up into one of the little things up in the playground. Oh, all right. Have fun. <laughs> Fine. Oh, we can't go that way. Okay, no. They have copyrighted music. Oh. <laughs> Do you hear that? 
Seriously? That's how that goes. That's okay. There's shit to do over here, too. Okay. I don't blame them for wanting to have music out here at this late at night. I can't even tell what it is, so it probably won't ding me, but... Oh, look at the moon. Oh, yeah. The moon's cool. Let me see. Ah! Okay. It is this light right here. <laughs> you see how they're all, like, just yeah, orbs? That, that is the moon. It's that orb right there. That's the moon. It's that orb, it's so... Uh, it was the other night. Uh, we yeah. were here, remember? Well, they were saying it's a super moon all week. Really? Yeah. That's kind of cool. I think th this weekend's like the last weekend. Really? This is the last super moon of the year, they said. Yes. Whoever they are. They are. Farmer's Almanac? Sure. The old Farmer's Almanac's fucking crazy, guys. They use the uh, uh, astrology and the, the movements of the moon to predict the weather. And they've been doing it for like hundreds of years it's crazy farmer's almanac or the old farmer's almanac because there's two there's farmer's almanac and then there's the old farmer's almanac so you want to hear a funny story about the al almanac yeah every time you say farmer's almanac yeah i think of the sports almanac from back to the future when he finds a booklet and wants to go back into the past and oh play bets. yeah that's what i think of every time you say farmer's almanac <laughs> that's funny the sports almanac <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, let's go back into the past and place wagers. Right. <laughs> I know there's benches and shit over here. Did you want to drop your tea on them while we're out here? I want to sit down and do that. Okay. I want to sit down and do that. My hot sitter. takes. You're such a sitter. My hot takes. I got some hot takes. Oh, there's benches over here. Watch, there'll be people sitting here. And they'll be like, why does that woman have a camera? There's orange benches. There's usually the teenagers over here smoking weed. <laughs> There's orange benches on the across the field. There is. If you look to your left, you'd see them. Oh yeah. Well, there's people over there too. Over, not, not over there. There's people. Oh okay. Well, we'll walk across the field then. He wants me to go all we the way. We don't have to. I'm just trying to give over her a seat. there. <laughs> Where else would you like to sit? I don't know. Just sit on the field. Oh, she's <laughs> difficult, people. She really is. <sighs> well, I wanted to sit over there, but there's people. Right. There's people. Mm. Should just sit in the middle of the field and do this. No. Oh, there's a person with their dog. That's nice. Where? Over oh, there. That's nice. That's nice. We like oh, that's so nice. This is a nice big field, like. Because they, they had this all divided out. And there's all these yeah, different well. soccer games going on. So many soccer practices. So many kids. So many parents. There, was, like, there were probably a thousand people here the other night. No. It was probably over a hundred. But it wasn't a thousand. Look you're like over. That. You're, no. There was not a thousand people. He's exaggerating. Because we live in a smaller area. And when we see a group of people. We're like oh my god. <laughs> My hair is getting in my mouth. Sounds like a you problem. It is a you problem. Oh, look. Oh. We're trying to go towards the orange bench across the field, and I'm going that way. I knew where I was going. The light's better this way. I thought I would. I just figured I'd follow you. <laughs> We're, like, trying to go across this field like it's a giant ocean. So I can give you my hot takes. I can hear crickets. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. You're a yeah. Crickets are lucky. <laughs> crickets are lucky. The other night, or the other morning, Noe, my cat, there was a spider in the living room and I went to go get something to get it. And then I lost it and I'm like, Noe, find the spider. 15 minutes later, he found the spider for me. It was a good cat. <laughs> the other ones, oh, and then Timmy, the baby that, the baby. baby He's really good. He found a vinegar rune half dead in the kitchen. He didn't take his eyes off it. Nope. He let my mom know and she got it outside. Yay. Oh, here we are. Oh. Can you believe it? You walked the seas of grass. I was hoping for something to stick this on because my arm hurts. You want to film you? No, I don't want you to film me. <laughs> here, I'll figure this out. Because I got a thing on here. Oh, is the 
ground dirty here? I'm just know. gonna sit on the floor like a hippie. Fuck it. I do this at home. I do not. Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna sit here. Okay, you can see the field. That's cool. Okay, that works. So, where's my phone? Hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna balance you on my purse. There. Do you see my hair? Look at my hair. Because we were driving with the windows down and listening to music. And I like to kind of stick my hands out the window. It feels like you're flying. So, yeah. So, let's see. Bloop, bloop, bloop. God, it's so nice out. It's so nice. We're so lucky to have a great winters. Okay. Volume up. Brightness up. Uh, no, don't start yet. Did you hate that when you go into your photos and before you can hit unmute, it just starts playing and you're like, no, like, no. Okay. No, start over. Start over. This is so annoying. Okay. And this might get me in trouble, but I don't think influencers are ruining everything, specifically Fashion Week. The first question not is, not talking about Fashion what Week. Did Ruin about Fashion Week because all I can really think of is this. She's not talking about Fashion it's Week. It's so weird how we preach we don't want to gatekeep things anymore, but like for some you reason, gatekeep. Want to gatekeep Fashion Week? I will say I do think influencers should respect whatever industry they go into. They should There's respect so smaller creators who aren't monetized yet, the world. I and their subscribers. You, I don't have any like magazine subscriptions like I used to. I actually get all of my fashion inspo. Nobody has magazine subscriptions anymore. What the fuck? No shit. Nobody does. It's all digital now. From other influencers, way more than celebrities, I am more likely to buy something that Emma Chamberlain promotes and shows Emma at Coachella. Some random model I don't know about and I don't look like. I just don't understand why you think you look like Emma Chamberlain. Influencers when they bring marketing, they bring money. They bring sales. They're making Gen Z actually interested in fashion. But you're not Gen Z. You're a mill millennial. Go to fashion Week or not. I have a hot, okay. hot take. My hot take is, girl, you wanted to fuck around? Well, you're going to find out. Okay. What are influencers bringing? And I, I feel like this was a response to me and what I've been saying. She wants to find out, you guys. She really wants to find out. Okay. So you're saying you're not a celebrity, but you guys go to all those movie red carpets. You guys suck up to Kim Kardashian. She's not an influencer. She's a celebrity. You live in LA. You're trying to be a celebrity, okay? So shut the fuck up about that. Two. Emma Chamberlain is a lot younger than you. She's actually in a different kind of demographic, even though you don't want to believe that. It's true, okay? Third of all, this might hurt your feelings, but I don't care, because you need to hear this. Nobody has told you this at all, Alicia. And I know you're watching. I know you're watching because of this. Your hot take. Which, just come out and say it with your full chest. Just come out and address me or your subscribers with your full chest. So, yeah, the content you've been putting out for the last couple years is very vapid. There's no depth to it. There's no personality. You lack a personality right now. And what upsets everybody is that you have one. We know you do. But because you live in this convoluted influencer world in LA, Alicia, you don't get it. You base your personality off of what is trending, what Kim Kardashian is doing, what other influencers around the same level of you is doing you try to take clout from smaller youtubers and i'm not talking about me i'm talking about the ones who have like a thousand fifteen hundred twenty thousand and you come along and you shout them out yeah you come along and shout them out right and they think you're doing them a favor right and you're actually coming in like you're a savior saying look i'm helping these younger these Influencers coming up like TK, right? Well, TK probably would have been fine on her own. 
let's be real she probably would have been fine on her own okay you 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 didn't like you didn't give her the Midas touch okay <laughs> it, anybody it, it, the algorithm's just fucked okay it's fucked and I've explained this I'll link the video for you if you haven't seen it YouTube ATEM and Alicia also to your numbers fucking suck on YouTube because a lot of those school Alicia videos were stuck into YouTube ATEM's data set and so it kept flipping you up and then when you decided that you didn't want you were I don't know I get the feeling like something happened to you girl a couple years ago that embarrassed you or someone in Hollywood told you or something traumatic happened because you did change and it suddenly became about what's trendy and you know uh how do I say it? Yeah, it became a what's trendy and you always, oh, I, I like having TK on my team because she helps me keep up with the trends and and now you're talking about Gen Z and we're helping Gen, you're not helping Gen Z, you're not doing shit. What have you done? What have you accomplished? You're probably rattling off all your numbers, your sponsorships and all the business stuff you've done. You haven't done business shit. Patrick. What's your degree in? Explain Finance. your degree. Finance. What, what is it? It's a DBA, a doctorate in business administration with a concentration in finance. That's a business background. Signing a couple contracts and um, doing some shit does not make you a business person, okay? Um, and if you think that, you're going to get taken advantage of, like it sounds like you did with Parallel, okay? Um, you're saying that you, the, the Gen Z thing, that's just you trying to clout right again. Stop it. You're, you're 30, and part of becoming a mature woman is starting to step into your own and find yourself. You can't just, you can't keep doing this trending shit. It's not going to work, and people are already seeing it. People know when you lie. I don't know. This is just, this was some bullshit. Pulling out, trying to, like, pray to the, what, influencer gods or the algorithm gods or um pour me to your subscribers that um you know that you're an influencer and just mainstream doesn't want to accept us you're pulling a james charles that's what james charles fucking does where he stood up there with the whiteboard and he did that math and he said i was like cheaper for influencers uh for them to hire influencers and not advertisers she does follow him Yes, yeah, she does. So maybe you're trying to be him. It's not good. It's not good. That's really not good. Like, you were worried about going under 8 million. You're really going to go down. Like, remember what happened to him when Toddy put up by sister? Now, he recovered, but I don't know how he's going to recover after I go visit the LAPD. Which, guys, I told I wanted to update you on my plan now. I sent that into the tip line, and I have a case number, and then I have a follow-up phone number. And from my research and stuff, it seems like a lot of who runs these tip lines are like volunteers and shit. So I'm giving it to about January before I try to reach out and contact someone over there. And I'll try the tip number first. And I'm also digging around on their website trying to find a point of contact, which I will. It's a huge, huge department, the Child Sex, Internet Child Sex Crimes Unit. So I will find a point of contact. And um, in January, that's when I will be trying to make some phone calls. Because I figured it's like, it'll probably be like 90 days. They're probably getting a fuck ton of tips. It's LA. And I'm pretty sure it's volunteers that are going through the tips shit. So I keep checking the portal every day and my email. But January is when I'm going to start making my phone calls. And um, I have some files together already to go to the local news stations down here prior to Coachella. So, Alicia, you can let your, your fellow single, I can't get a man to bring me flowers, friend James Charles, that prior to Coachella, I'm going to be emailing, and I know where the news stations are. I might as well just go show up, right? And I'm going to be letting them know that James Charles is coming so that they can do a, vi uh, a like a expose on it 
for the news for the local people down here so they're aware that James Charles comes down here and he might be messaging their children and offering Coachella tickets wink wink nod nod get it get it get it this is bad Alicia you fucking around let me do the Peter mom Alicia you fucking around with this short and being like well influencer week no She really wants to find out, guys. Like, I'm like. Learn to do research before you take a sponsor. Listen to people when they say your management fucking sucks. They don't care about you. They're just trying to get your 30%. Your subscribers were there before this management team ever was. And you wouldn't act. Actually, this management team wouldn't give a crap about you Alicia if you didn't have the numbers you have think about this all the people you have surrounded yourself with over the last 10 years in YouTube would not be there if it wasn't for your numbers except for like your sister and I don't know how you met fucking Taryn but your sister None of those people would be around. Remy wouldn't be around. Hey, if your gal pal Remy's listening, Remy, I remember that video you deleted when you went to VidCon in, I want to believe it was 2013 or 2014. You went to VidCon looking for Alicia, like a stalker, like a single white woman. You went to VidCon and I remember you sitting there with her Instagram open, looking for and going, well, I miss talking to Alicia so I found someone who met her and she said she was really nice. Alicia, Remy's been stalking you and friend climbing to get to you for years and now that she doesn't need you anymore she's moving to Orange County think about that why did everybody move out of your house these can't be things that I'm just coming out of the sky you know I know that you're thinking it too It's not good. It's not good. And there's people who care about you, don't want clout, actually give a shit because they think it's really fucking sad. And I recognize everything, like your depression, your anxiety. I believe you have PTSD from something. Probably being out in LA, I mean, I would have PTSD having to deal with people judging me and um, letting, letting people make me feel like I'm worthless. I decided a long time ago after I lost my Walmart thing that I wasn't gonna let anybody's opinion bother me like that anymore. And I wasn't gonna let money control me like that anymore, which I'm very lucky I have help and stuff, but like I also, there's a lot of shit I don't have because I, I don't have money, but it's okay, I'm happy. I'm trying to be, and I don't know. I think you're just lost, girl. You're lost. I, I look at your life and I'm like, wow. I have more than Alicia Marie. And I'm someone who a lot of people would feel sorry for. Like, I feel like I'm in a better spot than you because I don't have to live in that world where I am constantly fucking judged and I'm basing my personality off of trends and I'm getting in these videos and making up these bullshit excuses why people need to follow influencers. If the influencer thing was working, you wouldn't need to make a video about that, talking about why influencers are worthy or something of people's attention. People are sick because you guys all started acting like it celebrities and acting like you made it to the other side and you're not a normal person anymore you're you live in LA you live in a multi-million dollar home which is hard to get away at, in, from in California really like the housing market's fucking nuts but what the fuck are you doing what the fuck are you doing 
Anyways, there's this guy who keeps walking by and he's probably thinking I'm talking to someone like on FaceTime, which is kind of really. We're just, you're in the future and I'm in the past technically. But we're both on the timeline God forgot because well, this video that Alicia put is proof that God forgot us. Aren't you technically in the present? You're in their past, but you're in your present. Yeah, so I'm, so the future, the present and the past is all existing at once then. <laughs> Not really, no. It's so nice out here. It's kind of cool. It's like 8.30 and people are still out here. The lights are still on. More lights came on a little while ago. I'm just sitting here on the ground in front of the bench. This is cool though. This is a vibe. But I just saw that and I'm just like, what the fuck are you thinking? And then the other thing too, guys. Here's something I started to question. And... I know you all probably know about it, but there's a Reddit thread about Remy and Alicia and all these lifestyle crew. I found this a couple weeks ago. I was kind of shocked by it and kind of like, oh, other people think these things too. I'm not the fucking only one. Remember when I told you that if you start a Reddit, it helps you in the YouTube algorithm? Think about it, okay? Over the years, a lot of influencers have been caught. Um, you guys might have heard of Creep Show Art. She was a commentary channel who drew. Well, she didn't always draw. She would take other people's like drawing things and put it up while she talked over it and said "dude" a lot, my dude a lot, which it bothered me for some reason when Creep Show Art would say "my dude" and I'm like, I am not your dude. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, so. Um, she would go on lo the locale forum that's like a 4chan and she would post shit about herself to get people interested see where I'm going I remember years ago on Remy and Alicia's podcast and then Re talking about all this hate Remy got and googling and finding Remy's guru gossip and everything and how I was surprised that Remy had such a big guru gossip thread for some reason. And then I'm also like, there's a lot of posts on that Reddit that are almost positive. Now, I'm not saying that everybody on there is fake, but one thing I noticed in checking out James Charles, he, there's a Reddit thread for James Charles that is like pictures and guys thirst. I, I, I think they're guys. I'm not sure. They're people thirst trapping over him, his pictures. It's really kind of gross and well it is fucking gross it's just fucking gross okay it's fucking gross it's not kind of it is and when you go in here's the goat you go in and you click on the profiles of the people who are posting the pictures and stuff and commenting a not safe for profile comes up and i don't have a reddit account yet i maybe i should i, I don't know should i get one of those i don't know um and it won't let me see the profile because it says it's like not for safe work profile and I need to have my logged into Reddit to see it. And so on this change thread, all these accounts are almost like this. And I know a lot of people that go to Reddit don't necessarily have Reddit accounts. They just go on there and read, right? So if you don't really know what's going on and you don't have an account to go follow these accounts or I know there is a way where you can scrape IP addresses with um when I did the algorithm stuff um because you reddit is an open source which is why it helps people in the YouTube algorithm because uh Google will scrape all that data off and chuck it into their data sets and then run our algorithm with and so if you don't know, like, you don't really know what's going on. So I just kind of wonder if some of these profiles are actually some of these influencers posting shit about themselves to get them up in the YouTube algorithm. You see where I'm going? Because one of the things I noticed when I was tagging my last video was Alicia Marie Reddit came up. 
and Alicia Marie Timu Reddit started coming up. I have TubeBuddy. I think that's what it's called, TubeBuddy. And it's so easy to, it just helps you find all these tags and you just blah, 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 put them in, right? And so, like, when I was looking for tags, that one started coming up. And it'll give you tags that people are searching or looking for. And that was coming up. And I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense that the Alicia Marie Timu Reddit tag is coming up because there is a Reddit. And then I started going, hmm. Who started this Reddit or who all's posting to it, you know? Like, I'm sure a lot of the majority of the people are, are real, but I started wondering because some posts are positive and like really positive or like just like posting a picture, our girl looks good today or whatever, you know? And I'm just wondering like, is that Remy posting her own pictures in the Reddit? Is that Alicia posting this? I don't know just if you guys are anybody who's over on the reddit I'm just it's just the theory I'm bouncing around because I know that Foodie Beauty's done shit like this where she will post as herself on like YouTube I know a lot of other bigger youtubers have done this um James Charles um I think it was it wasn't Peter Mon. I can't remember what drama channel it was. Someone was mentioning, like, in a live stream once. He got caught with a sock account once, I believe. I'm not sure. But I'm just wondering if they have sock accounts and this is them posting shit about themselves to stir up crap. Right? Because then if, like, there's a Reddit and it's being scraped, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. This is getting long. But... It's just kind of cool sitting here at the park with you guys. <laughs> yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments about all that. I just been thinking about it. Alicia, are you posting your own shit on Reddit? Were you guys all posting your own shit on Guru Gossip? I think I questioned Remy about that a little bit more. But yeah curious right but yeah our girl wants to fuck around and find out so i'm pretty sure we're going to be getting more of this shit right like she thinks i don't know what's going on yeah comment let me know let me know your thoughts on all of this stream of consciousness <laughs> you hear the people in the back playing soccer you can't really see them because it's all blurry but and they're behind my head, but you can hear them. It's funny, I'm like sitting here doing this video and there's people like right behind me like playing soccer. <laughs> IRL life, right? This is, this is, this is real, right? This is real. <laughs> I put the fan on the floor right here. And then Timmy likes to sit behind it for some reason and I don't know why. Say hi everybody. He's our black cat. Yes, you ready for Halloween, Timmy? You ready for Halloween? Yes. Yes, you're ready for Halloween, huh? Okay. We're home. I'm in my jammies. I got my bed laid out on the floor. I'm gonna sleep on the floor tonight. Been sleeping in the bed sometimes, but been sleeping on the floor. It's been nice since I had the migraine. Kind of like sleeping on the floor with the cats. Because Frank will sleep by me and it's kind of comforting when you're in a lot of pain to have your pet right there. So I'm going to end this on this. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments about some of the things we talked about at the park. Someone wants to find out, I think. Probably not a good idea. But we'll see, right? Right? Anyways, guys, I like hanging out with you. It's it's a lot of fun, and I, I like dialoguing with you in the comments. It's really nice. Like I said, I was sitting here, and I had my coffee. I'm like, it's like we're chatting over coffee, which is pretty cool. So, anyways, I love you, and thanks for spending Saturday night with us at the park. And the little bit of the mall we got to see before they kicked us out. So, I love you, and um, I'll see y'all in the next one. This is TVM.
right knee, transmitting from the facility located in the Coachella Valley. And a transmission.